Prelli, Maduri, Lorci, Alero, Siamo, Triangor, Cermai, Johnson, Bambierul, Bambierul, Fabili, Sistema, Editori, Secretari, Romani, Cimai, Parti di Culture, Scarici, Tepe Globe, Militari, Hanno avuto Profile, Lorbone, Lattile, Hanno fatto i Monstri, Natura, Caro Mabieni, Basile, Scipe, Stati Uniti, Ali, Energi, Don Profile, Rul, Lorbone, Alpacci, Fatto, Iubi. Hello, I'm Dean Parsons, and I'm from the great kingdom of Brazil. It was supposed to be in Brazil, but we had an upside down map back in 1650, so we ended up in uh, modern day New England and then conquered, I mean, traded for uh, two square football fields of land. We fought for the less third known side of the American Civil War. Federation. We sure did proud of those pesky Mormons outside of our great football square field town. Unfortunately, we were never recognized by the United States of America. And uh, then Joe took over as our uh, king and regent, and it's been like that ever since. I was uh, later uh, brought up to the form of vampire hunter in our territory, a very prestigious role, and I was inducted into the VAA. The Vampire Hunter Association of America. I've been tracking a vampire in these three here parts for three days now. One of the most dangerous vampires of all, the Nosferatu. Second only to Johnny Depp's In Darkest Shadows 2012 with a staggering 36% on Rotten Tomatoes. Dangerous beast he is. Hey, why don't you have a horse? What? Why don't you have a- You know, some people ask me why I don't have a horse. It's because they're legal where I'm from. Back in the Madawanska Brazil War in the treaty, Madawanska sent us three horses painted like cows. Unfortunately, some of our people couldn't tell the difference between a horse steen and a quarter horse. So the milk tastes a little funny for a week. In the wild with the vampires. You gotta make camp where you can, keeping track of food, shelter, and water. We're making sure just before we take up shelter here, we're just gonna make sure it's safe. So I'll read incantations that keeps them away, and I got a gun just for safety. A specter of haunting Europe, the specter of communism. Thus, Marx and Engels introduced their program for social change more than any other political or economic work written within the last hundred years that communist manifesto has influenced and reshaped the course of history. I'm setting up my shelter before the night begins. It's gonna get some shut out. I recommend you do the same. Find someone safe, but not here. No, this is my spot. Get out! Get out! This is my my thing. Okay, like, this guy's weird, but I don't know how much we're gonna get on him. Like, I mean, the we're gonna have to tell the editors to, like, get really creative. Yeah, he's striking me as somewhat of, like, a hobo. Like, I'm pretty confident we could just scare the shit out of him with the concept of aviation or maybe a British person. Seemingly, he's straight out of, like, 1833. Is that a raccoon? I don't know. Oh, oh Howdy God. there, partners. It's me, Dane Parsons. Yeah, we, we know, know who you are, Dean. Do you know who I am? I'm a vampire hunter from the great cunt kingdom of Brazil. We know. I found the Nosferatu. Very quickly, very succinctly, slinking off into some deep and dank places. How'd you find them so fast? The deepest and darkest of tomes kept by the great vampire hunters and the other librarians in the area. How'd you find us so fast? I put a bug in your clothing. Cool. That great ex great survival skills though. Absolutely excellent. I could never dream to find a place like this. We just Airbnb'd it on our phones, internet, you know. 
I'm Dean Parsons. I don't use the internet. We don't have the internet in, in Basil. Every time we try to use the internet, the the Blue Jay Cardinals try to kill us because they say it's for the devil and the heathen vampires. We have ExploreNet technically. It's hooked up to a fax machine where we said death threats to bo death threats to Kim Jong Un. Unfortunately, anyone that uses ExploreNet dies via the burning of stakes. Are you hunting vampires or witches? Vampires and heathens who use the internet in our current great kingdom, Brazil. Where exactly is Brazil? Oh, you know, you take Brazil and you flip it upside down and it's loosely there. Are you a drug smuggler? No, absolutely not. Onward to adventure. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've had a long... We just got in town. We need to sleep. We need to start shoot. tomorrow. I just told you guys to get some shut eye. The Too union, bad for you. Union. The union won't let us work past certain hours. Union Shmillion. That's communism. Okay, that might be to you, but in our land, it's actually it's like legal law things that we have to follow the same way that you have to follow the no internet thing. We got to follow our union. That's heretical. The guy, what he wants. Let's go. I, yeah, okay. Onward to adventure. We're gonna find ourselves some nows for our two. Yeah, I'm gonna find myself in a hospital getting my stomach pumped. I tracked the vampire to his here pots. Around here somewhere, I saw him slink into these forests. Look, look there, get out, get out. See him over there? See him. Right there, walk. I think that's an adolescent, if I'm being completely honest. No, 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 that's the sweet, succulent, smooth body of a vampire. I'm gonna kill it. Die, vampire! Vampire, what? Oh, oh! Oh, my liver! That's not supposed to be there! That's not my spleen! Oh, God! Please, no! Please, no! Please! Help me! Uh... You just, like, violated every sentence of the Geneva Convention. I think I got him. I, unfortunately, I don't think he was a vampire, though. Jesus Christ. I got a, got a big question for you, though. What? Who's Geneva? Okay, so uh, our first course of action should probably be to call an ambulance. Oh yeah, we'll just call an ambulance to resuscitate the sludge that is that child. Okay, so maybe ambulance was the wrong term. Body removal. One of those grease trucks you take to a fast food place. <laughs> Wait, call the freaking cops. Okay, hold on. We made a deal with this guy that we wouldn't call the cops. Now, if you're being honest, does, uh, does this look like a body to you? <laughs> Call the cops on him, or I call them on both of you. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. I'll call. One. One. Uh, evening, officer. What do you need? Look for a dean trust. Oh, uh, oh he's... my God, there he is. For God's sake, get him. Get seventeen people.
Dean Parson. I'm the spokesperson for the Great King of Basel. Please keep your distance, sir. I'm a, I have my mask in my bag right over there. I'm not wearing it simply for this PSA so you can clearly and distinctly hear me. But in this new United States 2020 federal election, a lot of people had a very tough decision to make. Two, in fact. One was concerning the, concerning the fact that should we burn and to put burn and crucify vampires at the stake for the hedonistic crimes of existing? And should they be allowed to vote? And we determined, yeah, they should be allowed to vote. This is a democratic kingdom, not some fancy schmancy kingdom. Anyway, we were contacted by the Donald Trump administration to talk about the 365 dead people that voted. And we told them, hey, they're not dead, they're undead. So they caused a small, they called a small blue margin for Joe Biden victory for our one single elector. Someone being sued for three million dollars, which Basil does not have in its funds. And we can use your help today. You can contact us by carrier pigeon or by this postal code, which may or may not exist, and send us our legal funds for our legal defense. You know, send me funds, Dean Parsons, for my legal defense in 20 different countries for 17 accounts of first degree homicide. They may or may not be able to prove that. However, you can contact me also through carrier pigeon on my constantly moving and nomadic address, which I will post periodically through GPS signaling. Hope you have a good day. I hear the cops in the distance. Now I gotta get moving. Hold on a second, Dean. Who'd you vote for? I vote for Bernie Sanders. Oh, you mean in the actual election? Oh, Joe Biden. 